we're going to do um, a fixed scan today. We've got the option with the 2X range of doing either textured or non-textured scans through the top mounted USB-C socket. For doing textured scans, you need to add on the colour pack option, which would sit in here, but today we're just going to do a non-textured. So I've got the software selected, we've picked a fixed scan, and I'm going to select non-texture. Apply, and we're setting up our machine. The 2X range can work on a number of different options. We can look at features for alignment, which is the features of the model. We can use the coded targets on the turntable, or we can use markers that we can add on to the model themselves. Today, we're aiming for the coded targets. So our turntable will now rotate, and you can see the projections of light being cast upon our model. The two cameras are detecting the difference in the structured light shape, and we're gonna to continue to rotate around, capturing the different shots of the model. Our software then will start to capture the elements and align them point by point. The huge strength to the Einscan software is that we can multiply this and then rotate the model and have it stitch the, camera, uh, stitch the scans back together. So our first stage is now complete. Our model is completely rotated. Uh, I set that to do 25 steps. The industrial pack allows it to do up to 180 steps of the model. The more steps, the more detail we take, but the more time the scan takes as well. Um, 25 steps and we have our model on the screen. Blue areas show uh, the front faces, yellow areas show the areas that we're missing. What we're gonna do now is simply rotate the model. So all I'm gonna do is look to scan a different face and repeat the process. Traditional photogrammetry would allow us to stitch this back together, but what we'd have to do is find three points on each model and align them. The software is going to do this for us. So you'll now see we're going to do another 25 steps with the model inverted to fill in all those blank and yellow areas. We've now completed two scans, 50 rotations on two orientations. We could complete that again and add in another scan, but for the purpose of this, we're going to look at it now on the software. You can see we've got two groups. I can turn those on and off, which will show us how our different scans have collected the information. What I'm going to do is turn this into a mesh model, make it watertight, and process from there. That'll fill in any other gaps that we've got within our model, and then we can take that out and produce it through 3D printing, through um, 3D modeling software, or use the scan in any other way that we choose. And 10 minutes from start to finish, we've now got a complete watertight mesh model that we can use for any 3D purposes, including 3D printing. Uh, I've been Mike Mead. For any further information on the scanners, please see our website or contact the sales team.